guys, what's going on? I know a lot of guys want to see all this in the field stuff, so I figured I'd show you guys today. It's a wet Monday, and we're double cutting a lot of properties just because of it. But hey, what are you gonna do? It's that time of the year where the grass is growing like it's spring. It's like a second spring. So I'm gonna show you guys this right now. We got Brody double cutting it. We got this diamond pattern. It's gonna look sick on this yard. Check it out. See that he cut it once this way and now we're going back over it again this is his his first season trying to stand on mower probably his fourth week so he's doing pretty good i give him credit a couple of pointers we'll give him later but not bad at all His widths are all right. We got a little curve in there, but we're gonna get him cutting perfect, man. We'll get him cutting right. I do like seeing that diamond action on these properties. So as you saw, you saw Brody striping it up on that lawn. That was his like probably the fifth time or fifth week using the standard. So I got Brody right now working with me for, I don't know, probably a few more weeks uh, before he starts his electrical apprenticeship and stuff like that. But my guys are back in college. Uh, Brody's been a good friend of mine. We went to school together, things like that. But all that aside, you guys are here to see him, you know, running the Gravely Pro stance. You saw him do that, striping it up. A few little things we got to tweak with him, but for your first time i mean your first few weeks running a standard not bad at all the widths are spot on just got to get some of those tiny curves out no big deal but really impressed with him and like what he can do uh with this machine but you have zero turn experience like you have your own zero turn and everything like that but what do you think of that compared to like what do you think let's put it this way standard versus zero turn like coming from a sit down zero turn do you think that the standard is a little bit better like pros and cons like kind of what are your thoughts on that uh, I've run, I don't know, I've cut a lot of lawns with my, my zero turn. And what I noticed going to the stander is that uh, the time getting on and off probably saves you like five minutes. Because I got lawns where I got to move stuff, you know. Or pick up garbage. Things, pick up garbage, all things that back stuff. and forth. And uh, getting on and off of the the, zero, the regular zero turn takes a lot longer. There's and, more steps. You know, like the parking brake. Yeah, the, parking brake, blades. All that stuff. Where if you're close enough on the stander, you just... Move you just way. hop right off. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to move the levers doesn't, out of the way. Yeah, all that stuff. I completely it doesn't agree. take very long. Uh, another thing, you can see you can see a lot more on a standard versus the, uh, the regular zero turn. Um, I mean, a little bit better. It's. I think you got better visibility handy. too because yeah. you know you're higher up. You can see all around the machine when you're turning, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And then you can all. Another thing that I like is like I mow some lawns with uh, trees hanging down with my zero turn. It's kind of tough to get. Right yeah. underneath where the standard you can kind of just slide it right underneath and back and cuts down on the trimming time and the and the hassle of getting smacked in the face by some right trees and bushes and everything Sweet. so i mean i like it so far that's good 
Uh, we'll ask him later, you know, because he's got his own, he does his lawns and stuff too. Um, but I think one day we're just going to drop the question. If you could only have one, which would you have? So think about that and we'll check back in with him, with him later and we'll see. But overall, um, for my company, it's been a good fit for the, the small properties that we have and uh, even some of the bigger ones too. But it's uh, one of those things that you're in and out real quick. Like he said, better visibility, you're gonna be able to see everything better on and off the machine real quick. And for a contractor like myself, trailer space takes up less, you know, things like that compared to a zero turn. And price point, it's a little bit cheaper than a full size zero turn, more than a walk behind, but it works out well. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.